All right, guys, uh, here's what happened. I recorded this whole section, starting with Bill and Ted going to Blackjack. You can see the ratings, actually. But the uh, I, wasn't, I didn't have the computer audio on, so you couldn't hear the games. So I'm going to have to just uh, play them again so you guys can get the experience. And I actually kind of like doing this because some of these games need a little primer. Like, for example, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Let me just start that up. Look, I gotta show you this game. It was just—it blew me away how annoying it was. And this is an LJN game, which, as somebody said, I shouldn't—I shouldn't, you know—I should go easy on them a little bit because they get a bad rap. But we'll see. They get a bad rap, deservingly, in this game. So I just skipped probably what was the longest intro in Nintendo history. And then you get this. And here's what happens. Watch. I press like five 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 fourteen ninety two. I gotta dial the number. And then I get the busy signal. So, okay, how about this one? How about 555-0864? 0864. Oh, it's a busy signal. Okay. Must be this one then, right? 1849? I mean, is there a manual or something? I mean, does does the order matter? So I, I go back to the very beginning, level one, five 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 ninety five zero nine. This is the lo first level. This is as far back in the book as I can go. So what? Ninety five zero nine. What? Look. Okay. So it's not the first level. I mean, okay. It's it's King Arthur, thirteen seventy seven. For some reason, this one works. I don't know why that works, but that one works. Then this happens. I have no clue. I mean... Some kind of a minigame? I have no clue what the hell's going on. Here I am. Now I'm Bill, or Ted. I don't know who's who. I can jump like a beast. I, I kind of control like I'm a bathtub full of water. Like, it, it's like I'm on ice. This isometric control is very difficult to deal with. I'm in jail. Okay. This is new. I've never experienced this yet. Oh, so they leave the cell unlocked, okay. Now what? Listen to this music, hold on. Where'd it go? I thought that music was Scar Scarsboro Fair for a second. But now I can't tell because the music went away. Am I supposed to just bump in all the knights until I run into King Arthur? Just walking down this. Oh, jeez. What does that do? Okay, here I don't want to fall. I talk to that guy. Your friend Bill asked me to give you one of these highly dangerous textbooks. Should I follow him? I'm actually playing this game now. I don't know what the heck's going on. Did he give me anything? You're a douche. Okay. Talk to that guy. It's a house. Okay. I mean, I guess some kind of... 
an adventure game or something. Um, well, you know, now that I'm a little bit further into the game, I'm not as mad about it. I mean, it's still not any good, but that's just because I have no clue what I'm doing. If I actually knew what I was doing, this doesn't seem that bad. Oh, the music, okay. Hold on. Don't, don't, just shut up. I want to hear it. It is Scarborough Fair. <laughs> well. It, that is amazing. Okay, well, because of that, I'm giving it a 1 now. I'm changing it to a 1. Used to be a 0, now it's a 1 because they use Scarborough Fair, a MIDI version of Scarborough Fair in their, in their game. Alright, now this... Bill Elliott's NASCAR. I mean, I already knew I was going to hate it, because I hate sports games, I hate racing games. And here we got a NASCAR game. You can pick a car. I picked the red car. It doesn't really matter. And then you go to race. And then look at, this is probably the most boring, actually, okay, so this is the most boring game I've ever played, probably. Until I play the game after which is the, the, the fishing game. Now remember we played Battle Chess and that was really boring? This is more boring than that. Like right now it looks pretty fun because there's like cars everywhere, but wait. Wait till like it breaks up and there's no more cars. I'm just holding A right now. That's what I'm doing. Doing my best not to hit anything. Holding A. You guys thrilled yet? I mean, you might be thinking, I mean, what can they do with Nintendo? It's a racing game on Nintendo. What else can they do? Well, I'll tell you what. There's two games on Nintendo, I think. Well, Off-Road is a Nintendo game that's a racing game that's fun as hell. It's awesome looking, and it's really fun to play. And there's a different game. It's kind of like Off-Road, but it's like street racing. Kind of like, not not street, like track racing like this. It's an arcade port. I don't know what it's called, though. It might be a Nintendo port. I'll get to it eventually if it's there. But it was on the um, Namco Museum CD for Xbox. It looks just like Off-Road, except for it's on this kind of track. That game was also very fun. This first person driving, looking at a gray road in this nasty blue sky. How long can you handle this? I'm, I'm pushing two minutes here and I'm about to lose my mind. It's, it's just too disgusting. I can't even play it. I can't even put any time into this game. It sucks too much. That's a zero. Alright, we'll Bionic Commando. I'm excited to get a little further than I got last time. Bionic Commando is a game I actually owned when I was little, and I could beat it, like, handily. Like, I could beat it. It wasn't a question of, like, if I'm going to beat it, I would sit down and I'd beat the game. And that would be it. It's really awesome. I played it my, at my grandma's house while she made me apple juice. And I mean, she legitimately made apple juice. She took an apple, she crushed it, she grated it on a, on a cheese grater. She grated an apple, she took all the pulp, put it into cheesecloth, and then and then squeezed the juice out of it into a glass. She actually made me apple juice when I was a kid. And uh, I played this game, I remember it. It's a very vivid memory of my grandmother and playing Nintendo on the floor. It's the best. And this was one of the games. This game, Mario 3, Mario 2, and Ninja Gaiden 1. Those are the games I played constantly. So if you don't know anything about this game, you got this cool grappling arm. And you're just the coolest dude in the world. Uh oh. And you fall into pits. Wow, just dead. Just dead. Later on, you get hit points. Oh. I'm doing much worse than the first time I played it. Let's just... Let's let's play it back. Let's run it back. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't show me the cutscene. Okay, good. And then this little trucks that are moving around. If you land on one of the trucks, you get a top-down view. Kind of like uh, the old Contra games, you know? You get, like, a different perspective. That's pretty fun. 
Boom. game you can pull off in this game is sweet. We gotta, we gotta bounce my way up there. There we go. Oof. But I can't go in there. talk to this thing. And here in this you can communicate with your people or wiretap the enemies. I'm gonna wiretap just for fun. Beware of the elevator. Now can I do it again? Oh and then I can do both. Never mind you have to pick. You can do both of them. So in the Japanese version of this game, the bad guys, the purple people, are actually Nazis and the enemy is Hitler. And it's very realistic, you know, World War II stuff. I mean, not realistic, but it's like Historical, like it's World War II, Nazi Germany, whatever. It's pretty awesome. And then America, of course, took all that away, which is kind of weird because the Japanese made the game, right? And then they were on the Nazi side during World War, World War II, yet they made this kind of anti, you know, I mean, every game's an anti Nazi game, let's be honest, but they let you. I don't know, it seems weird that they would do that, I guess. And it seems even kind of weirder that America would remove that. Like, what's wrong with killing Nazis? I mean, I would do it all the time. You know, we got Wolfenstein back, and we always said Wolfenstein. So I'm kind of really confused. Oh my god, did you see that pro gaming? That's the kind of stuff you can do in this game. Oh, man, the balls. Oh! Boom. Yeah, this game is so sweet. Take an elevator down, so be aware of the elevator, remember? This game's got cool music, awesome gameplay, you got all kinds of weapons and power-ups. It's awesome. They also remade it on an Xbox called Bionic Commando Rearmed, and um, it's pretty awesome. So that game gets a clear one out of one. It's one of my favorite Nintendo games. Alright, this is a piece of garbage. I thought that NASCAR game was really boring, then I played the Black Bass. And, you know... So I get a pick. I like going to this dark spot, but I guess that's not a very good idea, because I didn't catch anything. So I'm gonna go maybe over here by the shore. Right here, maybe. Right there. Now, I don't want to, like, insult anybody, but I really don't get what, why anybody would buy this. I mean, I'm not a fisher person, but if you're even a really big fishing fan, isn't part of fishing the whole being outdoors and doing that? I mean, I guess the same case can be made for, like, football games and soccer games, but those are competitive. The fishing is just straight up, like, a relaxing activity. You just go on the water and you fish, and there's the water and the sunset. What is this? I'm moving the lure around. I can push A and it like comes back. I can wiggle it like this. Oh, I didn't start the timer. Well, I'm not going to play this for five minutes, that's for sure. I played it for about two and a half minutes last time. I'm trying to, I really want to, oh, what the hell? The fish goes away. Why? I actually saw a fish. Last time I did this, I did three casts and I didn't even see a fish. So I'm just wiggling it back and forth. 
And then when I mod, like when it goes all the way in, I just get to like change locations or cast again. So that was boring. Select lure. Let's do a spinner. A spoon. A shallow runner. Let's do a spinner. That sounds like fun. Lure color: blue, red, silver. Wow. Let's do a blue spinner. I don't have one. Okay, I'm frog. Let's do a red frog. And then let's um, move. Let's go right over here between these two little co shores. Is that a good spot? Oh, it's all swampy. It's a frog in the swamp. That's pretty good, right? Dirty water. I can't go in the grass. I mean, how much can it take? You know, how much can you take? This is a clear zero out of one. I don't know who buys that game. Please explain to me. If you play that as a kid and you care, even if you're, you care about fishing, please tell me. Let's play blackjack. I gave this a one, but it's not really because it's good. It's just like, I mean, it's a card game simulator. Can I really give it a zero? The controls are fine. It lets you get in the action right away, but let's try the method. So I'm gonna put it all, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So the method is, you might even know it. Once you lose a hand, you double your bet. And if you win the hand, you you stay you stay the same. So here we go. We're starting at 10. 20. So I'll stay at 20. He got 21. Okay, so that's good. A good opportunity. So now we're going to bet 20. Okay, now we're going to deal again. I'm going to double up. Boom. So I'm up now. Okay. That's fine. So now I'm gonna stay at 20 because that's a more that's a reasonable bet for me. I feel like so. I'll hit it. Okay, I'll stay. Of course. So I lost. So now we're gonna go up to 40. Okay. Winner. This is a good way to test. So now we're at 40. So I'm gonna go down, back down to 20. I lost 17, back up to 40. What now? What now? Boom. All right, so far so good. Busto. You would. You would. Okay, we gotta stay at the bet. We gotta stay at the same bet. And we get that. So that's... That doesn't even pay two and a half times... One and a half times on this old school game. Alright, I'll go back down to 20. Always stay against 16. If you don't know that. Remember that. What are we at, 20? We'll stay at 20. Fours. Hit it. Okay, I'll stay. You would. Alright. We're up 130 bucks, so I'm up to 40 again. Boom, that's how you play blackjack. Yeah, busto. This plan is going very well right now. I don't have the balls to try this at a real casino, though. Uh, I always practice it, and whenever I practice it, it always works. I mean, obviously, the risk is if you lose like six in a row and you double up every time, you lose all your money, and then you'll run out of money. Or if you hit the cap of the table, usually tables are like five dollars to a hundred, and then you know, fifty to five hundred. If you hit the cap, then you're kind of in real bad shape. You know, but you have to lose six in a row to hit the cap, and that's pretty unlikely, you know? I mean, it could happen, definitely, but I, I, whenever I practice the system like I am now, I end up being up quite a bit. See, so look, I'm just climbing up, I'm just climbing up, and then I just go down again to a reasonable amount. 
Boom. You just keep betting 20 until I lose, then I bet 40. And if I lose twice, then I bet 80. I haven't even lost twice yet. So it's going just gloriously. I mean, who needs to count cards when you got this great system? It's too easy. Alright, we're running out of time, so we better bet it all. You can't, like, bet higher. How do you bet more? This is dumb. I'm not even going to get up there in time. Oh, there we go. Alright, I'll bet 300. There we go. Two, huh? Hit it. Okay, I'll stay. Yeah! Look how good I am at blackjack. 600. Dang! Let's play it again, quick. We got one time for one more. 14. Stay. Charlie. Five card Charlie. What year is this from? The 40s? Alright, I'll play one more. You want insurance? No. Dealer hand. What does it say? Alright. Well, like I said, I mean, there's nothing remarkable about this blackjack game at all, but. How can I give it a bad score? It's just a blackjack simulator. So I think it's a five out of, I mean, a one out of one. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. That was a pretty, uh, I, I like the way I changed the, rec the the score on that. He actually got a one the first time, a zero the first time, and now I give it a one. It, it seemed okay when I actually knew kind of what I was doing and made some progress, like an action adventure game. Next, we got Blades of Steel, which I know is a good hockey game. That's the one with the fighting, with actually like box. Blaster Master, a winner. Another fishing game by the same company. See, Hot B. Hot B. And then some weird Asian game. And Blues Brothers, which I never played. But Blaster Master I know is good, so it should be a pretty good batch. Alright, thanks for watching. Come back again next time.